Hey, hey, it's Bryn and Siobhan. Today we're watching Avatar: The Last Airbender, season three, episode, episode 18. eighteen. It's Sozin Comet. So, um, Sozin's, Sozin's Comet, Comet part, part one. one. The Phoenix King. Now, those special effects are way better than those ribbons were. <laughs> now let me hear you roar like a tiger dillo. Tiger dillo. <laughs> that sounded pathetic. I said roar. <laughs> burn the area around you. With a nice, cool glass of watermelon juice. Ooh, ooh, me, me, me! That looks hey, so good. your lesson's not over yet. Get back here! Beach party! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play some volleyball. Oh, that looks fun. She'd have the best beach day. Wow. <laughs> Throwing some sand at an opponent or something, that would really hurt them. It's Just saying. Cute. Yeah. When we were um, in Cuba and then the wind was like blowing the sand and it hurt our legs. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, that's a bear that was doing the things at the thing. Yes! <laughs> I don't remember. It was in the Earth Kingdom. Yeah. It was, was it the King's Bear? I think so. You even need a little Earth King in Bosco. Ta da! <laughs> oh is that a blubbering blob monster? No, it's Suki. <laughs> I think it's sweet. It is sweet. <laughs> he doesn't even look like that. <laughs> Zuko? Yeah. Are you seeing if he can like, fight back? Yeah. What are you doing? No, he's just trying to kill him all of a sudden. Teaching you a lesson. A fire bending lesson. Oh. What if he accidentally kills him? <laughs> I made a sand sculpture of Suki and he destroyed it! Oh, and he's attacking A. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. Oh man. Suko, do you remember when Katara thought if you're gonna hurt Aang, she would kill you? Oh. <laughs> Get a grip before he blasts you off this roof! <laughs> Go ahead and do it! Get, it, away. get a grip on the roof right there yeah. <laughs> before I blow you off of it, but also get a grip. <clears throat> what? <laughs> double meaning. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Enough! How can you sit around having beach parties when Sozin's Comet is only three days away? I was actually gonna wait to fight the Fire Lord until after it came. After? I'm not ready. The day before the eclipse, my father asked me to attend an important war meeting. It was what I dreamed about and wanted for so many years. My father had finally accepted me back. Our army is spread too thin, but once the eclipse is over and the invasion defeated, we should transfer more domestic forces into the Earth Kingdom. He almost sounded like he had... It's totally off topic. Right then, he almost sounded like he had a uh, southern accent. <laughs> right now! <laughs> <laughs> Only for a second, though. That's probably my favorite accent to do. Is it now? <laughs> we're <Yeah>. being offensive. <laughs> One time we were on vacation, and we were in a tour group with these people that had accents, and this one lady southern was accents. talking, and I responded, and I accidentally almost said it in an accent, or I didn't, and I like, kind of had to stop myself just because of like hearing her have an accent, and then I almost said, I'm like, oh shit, man. You're like one of those parrots. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, I was just, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's never happened to you. You've been among the oh, okay. <laughs> When the comet last came, my grandfather, Fire Lord Sozin, used it to wipe out the air nomads. I will use its power to end the Earth Kingdom. Jesus. Permanently. A world in which all the lands are Fire Nation. And I am the supreme ruler of everything. Okay. I wanted to speak out against this horrifying plan. But I'm ashamed to say I didn't. My whole life I struggled to gain my father's love and acceptance. I mean, I can understand why you'd be scared to speak up because last time... You had to fight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's blaming you, really. So. No. But once I had it, I realized I lost myself getting there. I'd forgotten who I was. And also, he didn't love you for you. He loved you for what you were trying to act like so that he would love you. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't defeat the Fire Lord before the comet comes, there won't be a world to save anymore. I assumed you were still going to fight him before the comet. 
No one told me you decided to wait. I think it's probably good to keep everybody in the loop. If we all fight the Fire Lord together. We got a shot at taking him down. Team Avatar is back. Air, water, mm. earth, fire, fan and sword. Mm. Fan and sword. Being part of the group also means being part of group hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. That crushes them all. If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You turn your opponent's energy against them. Have you ever redirected lightning before? Once. Against my father. That was really cool. Yeah, it was. You'll have to take the Fire Lord's life before he takes yours. No yeah, pressure. I'll just do that. <laughs> No biggie. I really don't know if he's gonna do that though. I feel Gather like he around, isn't, but, but I don't know what the alternative is. Uh, what about me? For now, you're the Melon Lord's forces. So I get to chuck flaming rocks at all of you? Whatever makes the training feel more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those are big rocks! Oh my god. <laughs> So it should have been called Marlin Lord. Yeah, dude. What are you waiting for? And it's just Take a melon out. being. I'm sorry, but it just didn't feel right. I didn't feel like myself. <gasps> Look at baby Zuko! Oh, <laughs> <so> cute! <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, lighten up. I'm just teasing. That's not me. It's my father. Oh. That's not gonna help Aang. <laughs> Would you kill baby Hitler? No. <laughs> I agree with you. Fire Lord Ozai is a horrible person, and the world would probably be better off without him. But there's gotta be another way. Like what? I don't know. This goes against everything I learned from the monks. He slaughtered all of your people. He didn't. His dad did. But... Yeah, but he's still well, a bad dude. Yeah. <laughs> So your point doesn't count, but he's going to slaughter people. Then when you figure out a way for me to beat the Fire Lord without taking his life, I'd love to hear it. What if you trapped him in ice for a little while and then just try and decide what to do with it? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much like taking his life, but you don't have to decide right. Yeah. It's like putting the pause button on yeah. the decision. It's a big decision, do. you know? I mean, I feel bad killing a bug, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, what is that? Smoke? Uh, is it coming closer? Is that trees? I can't <laughs> what see. Is Maybe it's an island. Oh. No, it's not there now. Okay, what? that's everything. No, it's not. Where's Aang? I felt hey. like he was in a trance or Come something. On, Bones, let's go. Aang mysteriously disappears before an important battle. He's definitely on a spirit world journey. But if he was, wouldn't his body still be here? Oh yeah. Let's split up and look for him. Oh, I'm Aang. going with Zuko. What? Everyone else went on a life-changing field trip with Zuko. It's now it's my turn. <laughs> oh my god. It's not actually him, is it? Oh my god. <laughs> my parents gave me everything I ever asked for, but they never gave me the one thing that I really wanted. For their you. love. Oh. You know what I mean? I know you had a rough childhood, but we should really focus on finding Aang. Well, that was unsuccessful. Judging by the looks on your faces, I'm guessing you guys didn't find Aang either. Has anyone noticed that Momo's missing too? I knew it was only a matter of time. Appa ate Momo! <laughs> Appa didn't eat Momo. He's probably with Aang. That's just what Appa wants you to think. <laughs> He's gonna eat you. <laughs> Do they even eat meat? Bisons? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> do, Zuko. Ew. I don't know. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but why are we heading towards the Earth Kingdom? There's no way Aang's there. Just trust me. There has been a change of plans, Azuma. What? I've decided to lead the fleet of airships to Ba Sing Se alone. You will remain here. You can't treat me like Zuko! Azula, silence yourself. 
but it was my idea to burn everything to the ground. I need you here to watch over the homeland. It's a very important job that I can only entrust to you. I've decided to declare you the new Fire Lord. I shall be reborn as the supreme ruler of the world. I will be known as the Phoenix King. <laughs> He's got his new banners and stuff already. A bit premature. Joe. Oh. <gasps> she has this giant mole creature she rides around on. <laughs> sheer shoe. It's the only animal that can track any scent anywhere in the world. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> I don't know who this June lady is, but I like her. <laughs> <laughs> he looked worried. <gasps> okay. What the freak? Is this a good place? This feels like a good place. I just had the strangest dream. Wait. <laughs> You're right, he was in a trance. It's like just a giant tree. Where are we? I feel I have a good feeling about this island. I feel like he's gonna learn what he needs to do with Ozai. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week with another video. Bye! Bye. Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so